A sick deck breaker. Oh, and did you hear the impact? The WWE audience is no stranger to the stylings of Chris Jericho. They know when he's on the scene, anything can and will be said, and anything can and will happen. It's just a matter of who Jericho is targeting on that particular day. Oh, they have the steps again. Oh, my God. Look at this. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. What an attack, and I don't have one problem with it. In the WWE, you do what you have to do to get ahead, like in any business. Only the strong survive. survival the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects Jericho Chris Jericho knows how to polish off an opponent it looks like we're gonna see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. Back in the ring now. He wants no part of the outside. Oh my gosh, not the table! There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately, only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Now, what did you think of that? What a match. What a fight. When you reach this point, all... We got to cover. One, two... Oh, kicks out of the pinfall attempt. Yeah, just barely, though. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. The point of that elbow delivers. We got a cover. Jericho struggling a bit. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Inside the ring. We gotta protect the neck better than that. Wow, that was a wild strike. Tyler missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Walls of Jericho got in center of the ring. Uh oh, this could be it. Oh man, look at the pressure. Got something in his hand. The horror, oh my! The Fire. Look at that! We got a pyromaniac here. Chris Jericho has found an answer here. Jericho climbing the ropes. I don't know how. Watch out! Oh, check that out. We are first here this evening. And that was awesome. Shockwave sent down the spine. Ooh. 
Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. There's a point where all of your training goes right out the window and you rely on instinct. After getting beaten twice with a weapon, you can bet this is one of those times. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, man, am I ready for this? Can't wait to see how this thing unfolds. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. Let's talk briefly about Christian. It'll be interesting to see how he plans to get it done. What do you think? Someone as accomplished as Christian has lots of time to run circles around an opponent and keep them off balance from bell to bell. We'll see what Christian has up his sleeve and if he'll be able to use it to win tonight. Christian always seems to be a step ahead. There's some devious plans being formed in that head of his. He looks a bit off his game here, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. I'm not concerned. I don't think I've ever seen him look more motivated than he looked heading into this match. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. AJ Styles connecting on some nice targets here. Well, Christian showing some expert prowess here. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. AJ Styles with good timing here. King, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. You know, Christian brings so much experience into the ring with him tonight. He's been a mainstay here for well over a decade. And over that time, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the absolute greatest. I'm talking Undertaker, Kane, and the Rock levels of greatness. Much more damage he can take. A 
Well, well, well. That's the point. Oh, looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. King, you talk about Christian's longevity, which is amazing, but for me, it's so astonishing to see a superstar get better with each passing year. It's like there's no plateau for him. He just keeps getting better. Just look at his World Heavyweight Championship victory, for example. That came more than a dozen years after Christian made his debut. Yeah, that is unreal, Cole. I guess you could say Christian is like a fine wine. He just keeps getting better with age. But whenever he finally does decide to hang him up, you can bet there'll be a spot waiting for him in the WWE Hall of Fame. Wow, he's still down after that. Clearly intent on destroying that leg. There's no telling what's going to happen here. He doesn't want to win this one outside the ring. Because he's a pro king, he wants to get it done inside. And there they go again. AJ Styles putting it on him right now. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Whoa, big body slam. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that's willing to do absolutely anything to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. between the ropes. That was one vicious neck breaker. You know, they can spend all day outside the ring if they want. Cole. Yeah, and thank goodness, I don't think this official can count the ten. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. See that? Did you hear that? It seems that someone is very comfortable using a weapon against an opponent. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I don't like his entire face. Give him some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Well, look at Christian. You know what he's got in mind here. And that momentum is in the corner of Christian. I love watching these replays. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Quick history lesson. John Cena in 2012 was the first superstar to unsuccessfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. This head time is incredible. And will this be it? It may be. One, two. What a kick out. Oh, he almost had him. What a battle. Oh, my goodness. How is this not over? I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Oh, and did you hear the impact? back on your feet after that. Getting tagged like that might be enough to keep an opponent down for good.
WWE fans watching this match all around the world. We want to say hi to them, all the countries, even Manila, where I use their envelopes. Manila's not a country. Ah, oh, Christian looking to finish. The prettier! The finisher strikes again. Feeling that maneuver a second time might mean this is all over. We now have to question if he'll be able to come back after that. Well, this might be the worst yet. Now look at Christian. You know what he's got in mind here. And this has got to be it. It's it. It's over. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Going for the double play with this move. His midsection taking a lot of damage here. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. The first 11 times the holder of the Money in the Bank contract cashed in, he became champion. Becoming Mr. Money in the Bank is practically a guaranteed route to winning the title. When you go at an opponent like this, it means you're out from here we go for the win. I think they got him. One, two, three. And Christian picks up the win. 